Hello, and thank you so much for purchasing one of our um, at-home tinting kits. I'm just gonna walk you through step-by-step step what you need to do. So what you wanna do, you'll have your kit and it will have everything in it. So you will get a bowl, a brush, um, gloves and a cape, which are biodegradable as well. Um, and then you will get your tint and your peroxide. You wanna mix them together in your bowl. So pop them in there and just give it a mix. If you have an issue getting it out of these, you can scoop with your spatula. Um, you can also try and get the brush in there as well, but the spatula would probably be a bit easier. And then for afterwards, once your color is processed, you've got your shampoo and then your conditioner as well. So you do need to use these when you finish uh, because it just returns your hair back to its original pH and allows the color to last longer and hold better on your hair. Uh, so that's why I provide these to you as well. You also have um, a bit of oil to pop around your hairline just to protect any stainage. Uh, so don't worry if you get that on the hair, this particular oil won't stop the color from actually um, processing onto the hair, it'll just stop it from staining your skin. So just, you wanna pop that all around your hairline and make sure you get the tips of your ears and the back of your ears and then all around the back as well and do the same everywhere. And so what you wanna do first is put your cape on and then put your gloves on. I'm not gonna use gloves because I've got just a treatment. And once you're ready, put the oil around your hairline and then mix your color up. So pop your tint in with the peroxide and give it a really good mix. You want it to look, it will look the same as this, even though it is a treatment. You do want it to look nice and creamy um, and have a really good consistency. So just give it a really good mix around, really good mix through. And then what you will need to do, you may want to grab a comb or some clips. Um, obviously I've been doing this 20 years so it's, it's a little bit easier for me but just section all the way down the middle of the hair I just like to use the back end of the brush all the way down it doesn't have to be a perfect line it is hard to see the back as well um, and then you may just want to clip that section away so you can focus on on this half of your head we will need to section into quarters it is a lot easier so what you want to do is go down the middle all the way and then find the top of your ear and then just go up to the top middle section and then just section down through there. It's stuck in my hair a little bit. So then that's one quarter, that's another quarter, and then you're gonna do the same on this side. So you've got four quarters to work with. Now, it's probably gonna be best if you just start at the front and work your way back. Um, so what you wanna do, once you've got your sections all divided, got your four sections, you're gonna Grab the color and actually you don't need much more than that. Just on the one side and then just pop it straight on that regrowth there like that. Do the one side, hold that flat and then come through and do the other side. You can flip the brush over because it will still have more product on it. Doing it this way is going to work better for you. And then I'll show you a trick and you just want to have a little section it's not too wide at all. Let me show you how thick. You see that width? You don't want to be too thick at all. The thinner you go, the better results you'll get. And then just continue this all over your head. Now what I want you to do, once you've finished one quarter, is then come through and just scoop back away from your hairline just to get those hairs at the front. I don't want you to do that first because you can actually cause a lot of stainage around the face. 
and you will get those grays from going diagonally, uh, sorry, horizontally. And then you just wanna push it back just a little bit ever so slightly. And then you finish that quarter and then you repeat on this quarter and then I'll show you how to do the back. Okay, now once you finish your two quarters, you can move the hair around the back end of the brush here. The back's gonna be a little bit trickier. Get your fourth quarter and you can go in diagonals across a quarter. You don't have to go horizontally down the head or vertically down the head. So you just wanna find where that other section is. You would have sectioned yours out a lot better than mine. And then just go all the way down the back. You're probably not gonna be able to see it, but you will be able to feel it. As long as you're doing the same movements that you've done through the front, you should be fine. And then, so you've gone through the middle, and then what you wanna do is come across and grab a really thin section, and then go forward and back. Even I'm having trouble. Having someone help you do the back is always gonna be super helpful if you've got a willing candidate. If not, just do your best. I will fix you when I see you in the salon next. Um, but don't worry, this is pretty foolproof. You just have to keep going through, sectioning. Holding the sections quite tight is really helpful as well. That pulls it away from the scalp and then allows you to get to those areas that you need. And you do wanna put a small amount on your brush each time, just to make sure that you're covering each section. I get right down to the hairline. What you can do is grab those two sections together. You will have gloves on, so this will be safe. Just lift that up and then just get all the way around. Now one thing I actually do suggest, and I probably should have mentioned this a little bit earlier, is to make sure that you've got a top on that you can either unbutton or you can pull down. You don't wanna to have to pull that over your head because it's gonna get color all over it. Um, if you prefer to just wear your bra and just have the cape over you, that'd be really easy as well. And um, we are all at home, so get comfy. If you don't have someone that can help you, you can always have a mirror in front of you and a mirror behind you, and then that way you'll be able to see the back of your head a little bit better. Going over a section that you've already done before is also fine. It's not gonna cause any problems. Just gonna make sure we get the hairline be able to feel where the brush is going so don't worry and that's the point of all of that oil and then what you want to do is just kind of put the hair back in place a little bit and then just triple check that you've got all of those nasty grays around the hairline that like to poke out don't worry if it's on your hairline a little bit it will be protected. And now you sit and wait for 35 minutes. Okay, now what you can do after 35 minutes is processed. If you are all one color all over, you don't have any highlights coming through, um, or if you happen to be having a lot of orange red tones coming through that you really don't like, you can just, with your gloves on, 
emulsify it through. You wanna make sure that you have waited the 35 minutes. Don't do it any earlier because you need the color to process on your roots. So just as if you're washing your hair, pull it all the way through and you just pull that product through a little bit and you just kind of want to work it through. Now you may not have enough to get through all of your hair uh, because this is just a regrowth tinting and I would normally mix something up in the salon to combat the red through your ends. Um, but this is just going to be a little quick fix for you at home. So just give it a really good, good emulsifier and just pull it through those bits that are extremely warm and extremely red and then that'll cover it i mean you can see how the product does get through um, and it, it will go a little bit further as well being a tint it's usually around the top and around our face that we get nice and warm so just really work it in pull that through and then just give it another seven to ten minutes don't leave it on any longer than that and then what you want to do is use the shampoo and conditioner provided and just do two shampoos one conditioner and you're good to go. Any questions, please give me a call and you should have your written instructions to refer to as well. Enjoy.